Uh, David and I met when I first moved to Sydney in the year 2000 and we were engaged a couple of years later. We actually went away on holidays a few months after um, we got engaged and David was starting to limp um, and eventually did go to the GP and say he'd had this limp that it wouldn't go away. But he said to his GP that his father had died from motor neurone disease or ALS as it's called. And so straight away the GP referred him to a neurologist and they told us the news that he had um, motor neurone disease. And we had planned to have a family. So as part of us getting some counselling to understand the diagnosis and understand the disease, um, somebody told us there was an option to do genetic testing through IVF. And a motor neurone disease research team at one of the hospitals here in Sydney has been researching families with MND for a long time. When we went to see them, they pulled out of the file a big piece of old fashioned computer paper, the kind with the little holes down the sides, with a chart on it, a family tree. And anybody who had had the disease, they put a, red, they put a cross on their name. And David's name was actually already on the family tree. So it was chilling to see that there, to see his name on there as if they had been waiting for him all along and we didn't even know. We saw a genetic counsellor at the hospital who explained to us how the disease is passed on, that it was a 50-50 chance of David passing it on to his own children. And that just felt like too big a risk. I didn't feel like I could watch my child grow up wondering if that was going to happen to them. And when they told us there was an option to avoid passing it on, I felt really strongly that I don't want anyone at that hospital writing my children's name on that family tree. Um, and I feel like going and asking them and making sure that my son's name's not there. You know, it was obviously a very difficult emotional time, but um, I felt that it was the right thing to do. It was a difficult decision for us at the time though, because I knew that David was going to get ill, that I would potentially be caring for him and a baby at the same time. But it gave us such joy to have a child while he was sick, to be able to have some happiness in our lives at the same time as all the hard stuff. And um, yeah, and kind of ironically, you know, we did this genetic testing to stop passing on that particular gene, but it's almost some quirk of fate that every other gene David had seemed to go to Riley. He looks exactly like his dad. You know, and, and I don't regret it for a moment now because I wouldn't have had the opportunity to have a child. Uh, I would definitely re recommend PGD for anyone who's got a family history of a, a serious illness. Uh, the peace of mind that you have knowing that you haven't passed that on, it's hard to describe. And I guess when I think about the alternative that I could be watching my son growing up wondering if that's going to happen to him, it would be torment to be honest. Um, I, I can't imagine having to, to feel that. I kept a bit of a track throughout each IVF cycle as to how many embryos had motor neurone disease and it was more than 70%. Every time I saw that I thought thank goodness we're doing this because there's a 70% chance I could have had a child with this hideous disease. And I'm glad to know that for my little family at least it's done. We don't, we don't have to worry about MND anymore.